Paddy, you were born on the Curra, and uh, I suppose racing was in the blood. Um, yeah, there's an awful lot of horses around the Curra, as you know, but uh, I'm your father's a builder, and I kind of stumble into horses, but no, it was a nice place to stumble into. You've made a fair go of it. Uh, you've been very successful so far in your career, but you started off with Desi Hughes. Yeah, I started with Desi when I was 12, I think. I went in riding out part-time, and I uh, was there till I was 19, and... Went to Edward O'Grady for a year and Mouse Morris for a year and now back with Desi. So listen, I got a lot of experience out of Edwards and Mouse's and uh, listen, it stood, stood me well. Your natural weight is under 10 stones, so you, you're very much in demand, Paddy. Yeah, well, I'd do bottom weight easy enough. I'd be probably 9 stone 8, 9, nine, nine most days, you know, and that's eating properly and happy enough with that. Of all the wins you've had so far in your career, and you've had quite a few, which is the one that stands out most for you? Uh, there's a couple, you know, there's there's 98 minutes giving me my first winner in, in Cheltenham, which was fantastic. Um, Vic Venturi, first winner in a and I suppose Hardy Use is probably the, the main one that stands out because, um, you know, I've seen him as a four-year-old all the way through his career. i see him rise, 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 and, you know, I thought he'd be finished by the time I'd be around, you know, but listen, I got on him and run, won my first grade one of them, so that was, that was a thrill, you know. No, riding good horses is, is it's you know it's a phenomenal feeling feeling to go around the tracks when horses can jump and, and travel and it's yeah it's a great buzz. And what do you do outside of the game? What do you do to relax, Paddy? Not much really. <laughs> I like to do a bit of hunting. Um, you know, I go up to with Paul Carberry. We might go down to Wexford now and again, and that's great. That's a great buzz too. You know, that's as close a buzz as you get to, to race riding maybe. Um, I play a bit of golf, not much good, but mind you, but I, I try a um, little bit of fishing. I, I do plenty of shooting. Um, where I'm from now, we, I would have been shooting from a very young age before I ever set in a horse, so that's that's in me, you know, and I, I love that. And tell me, how do you pre- prepare for big race days? Do you go into a quiet corner yourself and contemplate what's coming up ahead, or you very much take it in your stride? No, if I went into a quiet corner by myself now, I'd have myself talked out, uh, I'd, ha- I'd have myself psyched out, it. but... Um, no, listen, I, I keep a little bit busy, um, have a look at the race, I don't I don't study it now, I, I get a plan in my head and try and stick to it. I'm not I'm not uh, dead set on the plan because everything can change, but uh, I have a fair idea what I'm up against and just hope for the rub of the green and um, listen, I don't I don't take it too seriously, I try and ride a good race as if it's it's a normal race, you know, so I try to take it that way. Christmas festival in Leopardstown coming up and you have a lot of good horses to look forward to there as well, Paddy. Yeah, it's looking good. It's looking good. We did a slow enough summer. Um, Desi's horses might have been maybe a month behind where they were last year, but they're they're coming right now. And uh, yeah, we've the likes of Schindler's Hunt and Rare Bob and all them to look forward to. Um, you know, it's 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 exciting to to get up in the morning and see them riding out.